In my previous video, I managed to get out of this beast 117 km per hour on 3S. Today I'm running double that, 6S, 150 amp ESC. The only thing I changed in the Arlarlo AK197. This is the stock ESC. I put 150 amp Arma BLX Sky RC is ready. We will see how, how many kilometers today we can reach top speed on this motor. Battery straps and the ESC, XT90 connectors. And this is how the car looks like when the battery fitted in. 6S already inside. It will be crazy, I know, but I have to do it. It's fine, let's do it. I did a checklist for me. Checklist I did, rear suspension fully compressed. So first I will check the range. My also the steering double rate I minimize that to 50% maybe I'll go to 25% and I will keep my eye on the motor temperature I will not cross the high temperature which is 90 cilis yes max the front of the car lower than the back here it is all right zero doubt We'll go and give it a run. 6S path. One hand driving. One second. Oh boy. <laughs> I want to see how much was that, but let me give a second run. Ooh. Ow! Flipped. One hand driving is a problem, guys. Nothing happened good. <laughs> it's fine. I want to see the top speed where I went. Over there. Read. A few hours later. What do you mean? Uh, one second. I will check the motor temps. Not even hot. 44. 44 Silesius. The ESC. 42. Batteries. 30. So after testing and checking the road, I'm charging the batteries again inside the car to max them out with the max volt I can get. Then I will give it a go again. One hand driving, it will be crazy, I know. Whoa, that way too much. That was way too much. I'm always crazy. I think no damage, only the GPS went flying. <laughs> Woo. Went flying. No damage on the car. No way! No way, dude! Oh, no damage! <laughs> Let's see how much that was before the crash. 122 km per hour. I cannot believe it survived that crash. Let's see. All perfect inside. Thermal check, quick. Silesius. What? 32? Unbelievable. So 122 before the crash. One hand driving to the speed, crazy. All right, let's do it again. Start. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Stop. Read. 89 km per hour. That's rubbish. I need someone to catch my ball. Start again. How many runs? Young Fluton, straight on up. 
<laughs> I think, I think, I think that was better than any time. Come back, please. Alright. Alright, stop and read. 114. No way. Round number three. Let's see. <laughs> what happened? 107. No way. A very big crash. Do you think it survived? I don't think so. It was really big crash. It survived. <laughs> no damage. GPS. Sorry. I'm giving you a bad day. I know. One hand. <laughs> like it didn't have a crash at all. That crash was at 109 km per hour. Here we go. No, not good run. Let me clean the front tires from the dust. Maybe they are affecting. I'll give it a drag. Hit. All right. Read. 97. Track. Start. All right. Let's go to the other direction this time. What will happen? Big crash at the rear. I think the car is fine, but the GPS is where it is <laughs> on the road. Unfortunately, it didn't survive this time. I broke the rear hub and the shaft went flying away. Well, I found the shaft at least. Let's see if I can fix it. So cable tie and super glue racing.com. I drilled a small holes, one, two in here, and I cast it with the AR, lower AR. Temporarily fix until I order these are coming metal. I will order this metal and this metal because we have metal everywhere except these two. So here it is, fixed and ready to go. This could do it. Will it hold? We will see about that. So super glue and cable tie racing.com working as it should be. Always testing after doing these upgrades, especially the cat, curious. Cat, you'll get hurt. Stay away from the arlap. Oh, full throttle. It's taking to the right. Well, I didn't wait for long to let the super glue dry enough. So I need to take it home and try to cure it myself. And I will order the parts till that time. See you in the next video. Ciao.